the reason most of the time why graded exercise therapy doesn't work is because it's wrongly prescribed. It's black and white. So it doesn't factor in sleep. It doesn't factor in stress levels. It doesn't factor in nutrition. All these things play a part. And so if someone's just being told to go and exercise for 20 minutes every day, regardless of how you feel, then I just think that's not that safe and not that appropriate. Hey guys, it's Toby Morrison here from CFS Health. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why graded exercise therapy isn't helpful and why it doesn't work and basically what does work instead. And we're going to really talk about when to move, when not to move. And I've done some deeper, longer videos on this topic. And I'll leave a link in the description where I talk about is exercise bad for chronic fatigue syndrome and other chronic illnesses. So we'll help you out there. But one of the biggest problems with graded exercise therapy is that it has no flexibility. There's kind of two problems. I'm going to share with you on my trusty iPad because this is a big issue that everyone faces basically when they're uh, going through this experience and it's really hard to navigate. And so I want to share with you the reasons behind why it's not helpful and what to do instead. And this is what we teach in our program as well. So basically, they call it GET, which is graded exercise therapy. And basically, it means that you go to your physiotherapist, and this is what they've been taught. And so they say to you, okay, Mary, we're going to find your baseline level of what you can do. And they say, okay, great. So you can do a 10 minute walk today. And so because you can do that today, I want you to do that every single day seven times a week okay and so basically the program is okay mary has to walk 10 minutes every single day seven days a week regardless of how she feels and then they say after let's say two weeks of that then we're gonna do 12 minutes every day or it could be even more 15 minutes whatever the person prescribes them now, this could be not just walking, this could be strength stuff, so push-ups, all that kind of stuff. And there's two problems with this. The first problem is they start too high, as in they don't start from less, they start from more. And this is never a good thing because you don't want to push your body when it's really trying to do its best to recover and heal. The second uh, thing, and really we're going to make this the first is there's no flexibility and what I mean by that is I'm not talking about stretching flexibility although that can be useful uh, I'm talking about there's no flexibility within the programming and so let's say Mary does a 10 minute walk on Monday but on Tuesday she doesn't feel that good right and What's going to happen if she continued to do this 10 minute walk every single day? She starts here, she feels good, but then she gets back to here and she actually feels worse. Okay. She feels worse here, but then she's been told that she's got to keep going. And every single day, she's driving herself into a deficit. And this is what we call a energy deficit. And again, Unfortunately, it's prescribed wrongly. That's really the problem here. And the reason why it's not helpful is because there is no flexibility. What would be better, and this is what we teach in our program, first of all, you need to know when to move and when not to move. There's some of you right now who shouldn't be focusing on movement at all. You need to be focusing on daily function. You need to be focusing on your daily routine and structure. You need to be focusing on your nutrition. You need to be focusing on restoring uh, energy in your body. So rest and restorative movement. Yeah, restorative breathing. Calming down your nervous system. And then there's others that need to start moving and reconditioning because they can but you shouldn't do too much. And so you want to make sure that you have flexibility, but you want to make sure that you know your baseline, right? And your baseline basically means that you can do things without feeling any worse than you currently do. And so this is why it's so important to have flexibility within your baseline. So I'm going to share with you on the screen here, 
what that looks like. Now I've got an awesome free training that we've been sharing for a while now, and I'll leave the link below. It's called the baseline training. I would highly recommend you go through that yourself first. It's free. It's a really great, valuable training. You know, it's about 25 minutes long, but I'll I actually take you through an exercise on the whiteboard to go through it and actually answer the question. So you'll figure it out yourself. That's the starting point. But basically, here's your baseline. And we're starting here. And what we want to do is we want to stay within our baseline here. Some days you're going to feel better. Other days you're not going to feel as good. But what we want to do is have a consist consistent, steady progress on the incline. Now, if you push yourself too much and there's no flexibility and you do things despite you not feeling great that are beyond your capacity today, what happens is you start to do these ones. Pushing, crashing, pushing, crashing, pushing, crashing. Like I said before, it's usually wrongly prescribed. You start with too much and there's no flexibility. So you need to learn to tune into your body. You need to learn what modality works for you. And this is what we'll talk about here. So basically, this is what we want. We want to choose the modality that is healthy and appropriate for us. We don't want to choose something that is really ineffective or makes us feel worse. So initially, this might be restorative movement. This might be restorative breathing. This might be mobility exercises versus uh, pushing yourself or cardio stuff, yeah? So it really just depends on the person. So we want mod modality first. We want to start with less is more. And so basically what this means here is consistency over intensity. And once you get this right, it's unbelievable what can happen. We have clients who literally start with absolutely nothing. And within six months, they're going on hikes again. They're feeling great. They're going on bike rides. So we've got modality. We've got less is more. We want flexibility here. And that just basically means that we're tuning into our body. We know our sweet spot, but we're also adaptable. So let's say we don't sleep that well, or there's a bit of stress going on at home at the moment, then we usually back it off a little bit. We have a, a, a less is more approach to that. And then we build back into it. And that's just really important. So you don't want to just like rush into it and uh, go from zero to hero overnight. And then the fourth thing here is you want to progress appropriately. You know, we help our clients with this every single day inside our program. So it's easier for them because they've got full trainings on everything, when to move, when not to move. There's a whole 30 minute training on modality, what to choose based off where you're at and what you want to focus on, what your goals are. And then we actually have a beginner, intermediate, advanced movement program, depending on where you're at. And then even before that, we help all our clients make sure that they've got their daily routine structure and baseline sorted before they even think about movement. So you can understand, you're understanding now that there's an actual plan here. It's not just guessing and leaving it up to chance. You want to make sure that you're doing the right things at the right time. I hope this makes a lot of sense to you. And the reason most of the time why graded exercise therapy doesn't work is because it's wrongly prescribed. It's black and white. So it doesn't factor in sleep. It doesn't factor in stress levels. It doesn't factor in nutrition. All these things play a part. And so if someone's just being told to go and exercise for 20 minutes every day, regardless of how you feel, then I just think that's not that safe and not that appropriate. And we start with the less is more approach initially because that just means we can progress further faster rather than trying to do too much too soon and then you just feel worse. We want to avoid that, okay? And you've got to keep in mind the energy credit. So energy deficit versus energy credits. And we want to find the balance between the two because we know that 
doing too much is not good, but we also know that doing too little isn't helpful either. And this is why you have to get your baseline. This is why you've got to lay the foundations down first, and then you can start to build. So I'm just going to quickly wrap this up. I'm going to show you once more what we're talking about here. And this is once you get this, honestly, it's a game changer. And we've got clients who are as young as 15, 14, 13, and clients who are in their 70s and 80s and all in between. We've got heaps of mums, heaps of dads, heaps of teenagers, heaps of sports people, heaps of academics, heaps of artists. And once you understand this for yourself, this whole section here, things just work better. It's like a harmonious cycle of functionality and progression. So choose your modality, what's appropriate for you right now. Just think the word appropriate basically is the key here. And you'll get feedback from your body too. Then we go here, which is having a less is more approach, consistency over intensity. We're having flexibility within our baseline. So we know what to do on the not so good days, but we also know what to do on our good days. And that way you just know what you're doing. And so you have a plan and you wake up and you just stick to the plan. And when you're consistent with it, you start getting results. And then you need to know when to progress appropriately. And again, there's a little bit of an art to that. And this isn't just progressing with your physicality, it's progressing with your cognitive levels too of what you're doing with your brain every single day. So to recap, like I said, greater exercise therapy, unfortunately is wrongly prescribed most of the time. And the other thing is you're in charge of your body. Like no one knows your body better than you. The amount of times that I've heard members who come to us after seeing so many different people saying that they'll push so hard. And this is not to downgrade physiotherapists or anyone, actually. Like there's some brilliant people out there helping a lot of people. But unfortunately, there's just so many stories of people not knowing their patients' bodies and they're pushing them way beyond their current capacity. And so you should be the one in charge of the decisions not anyone outside of you. You know your body better than anyone else. Because I've been through chronic fatigue syndrome myself and because all our coaches have been through it too and gotten better, we have a deeper understanding and knowledge of what someone's going through with chronic fatigue syndrome. We, we get their bodies, we understand it better. So it's a lot easier for us to prescribe and, and not prescribe based off depending on where you're at. And this is why when I started helping people 13, 14 years ago, before online was even a thing, I, I followed this protocol. Like I literally followed this protocol and it worked every time. It just works because it's a framework and it's proven. And when you stick to it and you do it over time, you eventually get healthier and stronger without depleting your energy stores. Now, luckily we have all these frameworks inside our online recovery framework, which we teach. And there's hours and hours of training on this stuff. So again, we want to avoid the ups and downs, yeah? So none of this. Stop thinking zero to hero every day, okay? That doesn't work. We want consistency over intensity. And what happens over time is you get a nice, see how that's kind of going on an upward trajectory? That's progress. And that's what we want to be focusing on here. But just keep in mind that you need a holistic approach. It's not just one thing. And this is why it's so important that you do have a holistic approach with your recovery. You know, you're not just trying one thing. Instead, you're focusing on everything that you know is going to move the needle for you, that's going to improve your overall health and well-being and make sure that you do things appropriately and progress appropriately, okay? There's so many videos on here. This is literally the scratching the surface. So hopefully you understand the confusion behind graded exercise therapy and why Typically, it makes people feel worse. And hopefully now you understand instead what the real focus is on here. And you have to remember that some of you just shouldn't be moving right now. It's just the last thing you should be focusing on, especially if you're fully compromised, your immune system's totally shot, you're not sleeping at all, or your sleep's totally out of whack. We need to get things back in order. Once you get things back in order, then you can start to move in towards this stuff. But until you've got a foundation, until you have a baseline, you're just shooting in the dark. There's a step-by-step -step process that you need to follow. But hopefully this is a good enough example for you to understand and make sense of what's going on for you. So don't feel disheartened if you've gone backwards. Don't feel disheartened if you keep going up and down. 
Hopefully now that you understand the concept a bit better, you can apply it more in your life. Hope this video is helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, please. Uh, leave a comment just to let us know it was helpful and subscribe because we've got so many great videos on this channel that can help you move forwards with your health and your life. All the best. Speak to you soon. Hey, I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and feel free to leave a comment. What was your takeaway, your insight from today's video? It's really helpful to actually write your learnings down. We seem to embed it better and it seems to help us move forwards with life. Here are three ways we can help you right now whenever you're ready. The first way is make sure you add yourself into our free information recovery group on Facebook. We'll leave a link in the description below. It's a really supportive, encouraging place. There's no negative venting. You can ask questions to other people. There's something like seven, 8,000 people in there right now. And I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, there's even more. So go over there right now. We share success stories. We share our latest free trainings that come to the public. And we always share upcoming information about upgrades inside our program. And also when we offer free webinars or free information nights that can further help you with your own recovery. The second way we can help you, which is one of my favorite, is through all our free trainings. We're going to leave a link in the description with our favorite free trainings that we know can help you start your recovery, whether that's through our baseline training, which will help you stop pushing and crashing, our three stages of recovery to figure out exactly where you're at and know what to do next, or my favorite, which is our guest panel workshop, which was actually exclusive for our members. It was so damn good that I actually asked them, can we share this to the public? They all said yes, all five of them. So thank you past members. They share their five recovery secrets and it's really powerful. There's tears, there's aha moments, there's real key insight and inspiration. And so whether you're a one out of 10 and you're really struggling right now, or whether you're further along in your recovery journey and you're integrating back into life, we have you covered. The third way we can help you is through our actual paid online recovery program, the mentorship recovery program. And if you are interested in getting proper help, a holistic comprehensive plan, professional coaching from the best coaches in the world, whether that's with mindset, movement, nutrition, restorative movement, reconditioning, integrating back into life, integrative medicine, baseline, structure, routine, accountability, all things health and life. Feel free to apply for the program today. All you need to do is click on the form, cfshealth.com slash form, fill out the short two to three minute form application and the team will be in touch with all the details that you need to know about the program via email. So make sure you check your spam folder for all the free trainings. If you've sent through an application, please be patient. My team are real people, okay? They're not robots. So if we don't get back to you within seconds or hours, it's okay. <laughs> we will get back to you. If you don't hear from the team within two to three days, that means that it's basically gone to spam or junk and it's gone missing. So please send a follow-up email to the team at info at cfshealth.com. If you have any questions, go check it out. But I would highly recommend adding yourself into the free group right now. Go click on that link in the description. Go download all the free trainings. Honestly, the whole reason why this whole thing started is because when I went through this myself, it was so painful and so excruciating that I didn't want anyone else to have to go through it. And some of these free trainings are so damn valuable. Back then, I would have paid thousands of dollars for. We've had so many comments and emails and posts saying, oh my God, the baseline training was a game changer for me. Toby, I've been doing this now for three months and I'm feeling so much better. My symptoms are decreasing. I've got more stamina. I've got more energy. I'm able to do more things. So, you know, whether you're learning from us and consuming our content through our free format, I'm so stoked. Whether that's in our paid program, I don't really care. Either way, all I want to make sure is that you are moving forwards. You are starting to really implement this work. And that's really what it's all about. Once we implement, we make change and we start to move forwards. Sending you a ton of love. Of course, feel free to consume as much of the YouTube videos as you like. There's so many really, really great ones, new and old. Sending you a ton of love and uh, speak to you very, very soon. All the best for now.